Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today we are making these pocket watch cake pops representing time from the new movie Alice Through the Looking Glass. Let's get started. The very first thing that we want to do is actually to make the pocket watch cover that sits out in front of the cake pop. So we need to let that dry. So I make it the day before I start these cake pops. So take some yellow gum paste. I added just a little bit of red dye to it to kind of warm it up and help it match the same yellow chocolates that we'll be using for dipping. When the yellows are off, it makes it hard for it to look like a cohesive watch. So try to match your chocolates and your gum paste as best you can together. So here I've rolled some out and I'm gonna cut my circles. And this is like a one and a half inch cutter. Whatever size that you're looking to make your cake pops out of is the size that you want your circle cutter to be. And then I've uh, taken, these are the mini Wonder Mold pans. So they're actually, when they're upside down, they're actually skirts for little itty bitty Barbie dolls. Um, and I've dusted them with a mixture of powdered sugar and cornstarch so that I can put something in there and I can pull it out later without it getting stuck. And this just has a really nice curve to it that matches the shape of the pocket watch that I want to do. Anything that you have, one of the mini ball pans or something like that, that has a nice curve to it will work in this case. So you want to put your circles down in the bottom and then using a finger and kind of press it into place, just make sure that you don't have like a fingernail that gouges down in there. You can use uh, cake and frosting and mix that together till it's the right consistency or my preferred method is to take crushed Oreos and mix it with a little bit of cream cheese to get the right consistency. So it doesn't matter what you use for pops, just pick your favorite and then chill it. So we're ready to get started. So I've taken this medium sized cookie scoop and pulled some out and I'm gonna put it between my palms and just kind of flatten it around. I'm turning it as I go to get all the sides evenly done. Now, as you kind of crush this, it crinkles the edges a little bit. So now just take your finger, kind of pinch around cleaning up those edges. Now you don't want to press this out too thin because we need to stick a lollipop stick in here. And if it's too thin, it will just break in half when you slide the stick in. So you want it to still be nice, a pretty good thickness, at least, you know, about a half an inch. So notice I have the dome side. This is going to be the back of the watch and I have the more flatter side and that is going to be the front of the watch. And once you're happy with the shape, then you want to stick it on a, some parchment paper and put it in the fridge and let this shape chill. Now take some yellow chocolate or candy melts and we want to melt them down until they're smooth. Now we have our melted yellow chocolate, our lollipop sticks, and our shaped pocket watch chocolate Oreo bites. All right, so dip the tip of your stick into the melted chocolate, hold your cake pop or Oreo pop and press the lollipop stick until it goes almost all the way through. I can kind of feel it nudging against my thumb. Now it might create some cracks along the back of your pop, that's okay. The reason that we just chilled these instead of froze them is that they're firm enough to hold, but at the same time, they're also still pliable enough that we can kind of press them back into shape wherever it might have cracked from pressing that, uh, that stick down inside. Make sure both sides kind of get a little bit of your attention. And then you kind of want to smooth this chocolate just a little bit. Then put it back on your tray and we're gonna chill for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now it's time to pull out our gum paste circles and we want to brush off all the cornstarch so that they're nice and clean. We have our melted chocolate, we have our shaped pops on sticks, and we have our gum paste circles that are nice and concave and are dried that way. And then I have a flower foam. I use this to hold my sticks into place while they dry. So make sure the chocolate is still melted and your pop is chilled and firm, but not too cold. And dip it down inside until it goes all the way to the stick. Pull it out and shake off some of that excess chocolate. And then I wanna shake it kind of flat on both sides to kind of smooth out the front and back of this. Now we're going to take this circle. Now the circle fits right here when the watch is closed. So when the pocket watch is open, I know it's gonna be right down here. So kind of without breaking it, press that into place and jiggle it back and forth so that chocolate gets nice and covered. And then we're just gonna hold it there until it's firmed up a little bit. Because these are chilled, the chocolate will actually get firm fairly quickly. 
So it just takes a couple seconds of holding. See, and now that looks good. What we're gonna do now is pipe circles. And these are gonna be the top of our watches. And I just kind of pipe it a couple of times to give it some height. Once you're kind of happy with them, you're gonna just give a little shake to smooth out those circles and make sure you make extra circles. Now we wanna add some fun designs to our watch. So I'm gonna leave room on the center for where we're gonna put the circle, but I'm gonna add some decorations down the sides. I'm just gonna add some swirls. Let's just start and swirl around, come back down, and kind of create like an S shape. And then go backwards, swirl, come around, and then just keep doing that all the way around the edge of the watch till I get to the bottom. Flip around and do the other side. Again, leaving room in the center for our, uh, our circle. So our chocolate circles are set now, and they're ready to add to the top of our pocket watches. So take one of your pocket watches and squeeze a dab of the melted chocolate on top. Grab one of the circles and press it down into that melted chocolate and then just kind of hold it there until it sets a little bit and it will stand up on its own. Now we can leave the watches just as they are with this uh, yellow color because you know, gold, yellow, they're basically the same thing, right? But if you really want to amp these up, then what you want to do is find some super gold luster dust, get a brush that you only use for cake decorating. Oop. All right, get a little bit of the dust on your brush and then brush your watch with this luster dust. And what that's gonna do, be careful of course of the top circle and the gum paste circle, but what that's gonna do is give this a nice gold sheen. Get really good into the details. And now we have this nice shine and the watch looks more gold than that. Now to do the gum paste circle, I actually put the stick inside my finger so I can use my pinky to kind of hold that gum paste circle a little bit and give it some strength behind it and then flip it over and do the same thing. Use your fingers to kind of give that gum paste a little bit of backing. All right, and we have a nice gold pocket watch. Now I want to add the white faces to our watch. So using the same circle cutter that we use for the yellow closing, so you know, it's the same size, roll out some white fondant and cut some circles. Now, Take that circle and take one of your watches and just fit the circle down to where the cover of the pocket watch meets and press it into place. And there you have it. So I have some black gel dye with a couple drops of vodka to help thin it out a little bit, a fine brush, and I'm gonna write on the numbers. I'm gonna start with the 12, and then do the six, hop on over to the three, and then finish up with the nine. And then I'm gonna fill in the notches representing the other numbers. And they're done, they turn out great, exactly how I envisioned them in my head. Now, if you guys have seen the Alice of the Looking Glass movie, you've noticed that time has those pocket watches that are hanging down. Well, that's what these were supposed to represent, and I think the addition of that open front hanging down and the gold just really took it to the next level. I love how they turned out. If you recreate this tutorial, don't forget to tag me in social media so that I can see it. In the description box down below are all the links to my social media, in addition to the recipe for these Oreo cake pops. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And it's summer. There's so many fun summer movies coming out. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what movie you're looking forward to the most. And give me a suggestion for something you'd like to see me make representing that movie. All right, now the best part. Whoop, whoop. I get to eat them. Mmm. I love the Oreo Pops. To me, 
They're super simple to make, they taste great. And hello, dessert, who doesn't like eating dessert? Thanks for watching.